Hi everyone, welcome to another QGIS Python tutorial. I know it's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, I've been focusing on some other stuff, but we're going to come back to QGIS Python for this tutorial. And what we're going to do is work on coordinate transformations. So converting coordinates from one coordinate system to another. All right. So let's, uh, just for the sake of argument here, we'll just pick a point here in northern Arizona and... If you look down here at the bottom, you can see what my coordinate pair is for this area. And let's just do something like negative 112, 35. Um, that's pretty, pretty representative of an area there. Okay, so let's just open up our Python console. Start a new script. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. Pull the editor up. And we will close these out. And let's start a new script here. Okay. And so let's just define our xy coordinates. So we said xy, uh, we're going to equal negative 112.0 and 35.0 for latitude and longitude. Okay. So let's just give ourselves some comments here. Coordinate transformations. Okay. All right. So we have our points our x and y coordinates. The things we need to do here is we need to define um, our coordinate system, our new coordinate system, um, our transform. Okay, So these are the things here that we are going to need to define. So our current coordinate um, system, as you can see, EPSG, 4326 down there. Um, so let's do QGS coordinate reference system. And we can just give it the EPSG straight in there. 4326. And now let's convert this to um, UTM zone 12. I'm just going to make a note of the coordinate system this is. So this is WGS 84. And this one um, is going to be UT or NAD 83, UTM zone 12 north. And so we're going to do QGS coordinate reference system and 26912. I believe I'm going to double check that so I make sure I get it right. Okay, good news, that is correct. And so now um, we need to do a coordinate transform here. And the way we do that is with QGS coordinate transform. And we need to give it CRS, CRS new, and then QGS project uh, instance. So just the instance of our project. All right, so that's all we need to do the transformation. And I'm just going to double check and make sure that I have this line of code written correctly so we don't run into any problems here. All right, so I think we're all good. So now what we want to do is we want to take this point, which is in the coordinates for WGS84, and transform it to our new CRS, okay? Um, and it's actually really easy to do. So I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to call it point UTM. And we're just going to go tform.transform. And now we just need to give it a point, QGS point XY. And here we give it XY. All right, and now let's print a UTM point. And PT UTM. Let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. And over here, we should get a point in UTM coordinates. And we have an error. Let's see. Too many. Oh, it's because I put a comma here and not a decimal. Okay, let's click run. Okay, there we go. 
And now you can see that I have this point 408746 with a lot of decimals afterwards because it's not formatted, and 3873499. Okay? And that looks like a valid UTM point. Okay, now what if we want to transform this back? That is actually also pretty easy to do. So let's make another point. We'll call it point WGS equals T form dot transform. And then we just need to put in the point we want to transform, which is our point ETM. And we need to do um, QGS coordinate transform dot reverse transform. It should be as simple as that. And so let's go print um, WGS point and then point WGS. And we should get these coordinates back or at least something very, very, very close to those coordinates. So let's go ahead and click run script. All right. And sure enough, we get negative one or one, one, two and positive 34.99999. Okay, and that could just be an artifact of that conversion because it doesn't convert exactly. So let's go ahead and just double check things here and make sure that especially this UTM coordinate converted correctly. So we see this converted back and we should assume that if this converted back, that point's also correct. But we can just change our coordinate system up um, for our project and then uh, double check that. So I'm going to go to my properties and in my CRS here I'm going to change this to okay we'll just have to search for it 26912 NAT83 zone 12 north let's click OK OK oh that's gonna maybe give us a problem all right, I need to zoom in a little closer. Let's go back and do, oh, there we go. We got to it eventually, so, oh, here we go, come on. I should have zoomed in, let's, oh, here we go. I should have zoomed in first. So let's zoom in here, see if we can get this to work. Oh man, we are just gonna have to stop this for a second. Okay, folks, my apologies for that. Um, had a little problem there, but so I, I changed this back to WGS84, and we can get kind of an idea of where our coordinates are here if I move this out of the way. So here's our coordinates negative 1, 1, 2, and 35. Scroll down just a little here. So we should be looking right in this area here, and as soon as that map loads, okay, so we're just kind of in this National Forest area, Williams, Perkinsville. So now if we go back to our project, now that we're zoomed in, we shouldn't have those same viewing errors with the, the coordinate system. So let's go back to properties, and let's change this back to, to UTM zone 12, and let's say okay. And now, if we come into this area, we can take a look at our UTM coordinates right here. Okay, and so we have an X and a Y coordinate, and we should be around 408746, which we're we're right in that range, and 387, you know, 3500, and as you can see, we're also right in that area. So it looks like that conversion worked out correctly. Anyway, that's just a quick video for you guys today. Um, how you can do coordinate transformations with uh, QGIS using the PyQGIS API. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you have a great day. And as always, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.